have been overweight all my life. <laughs> Everybody, happy Tuesday. How are you all? I didn't get a chance to vlog yesterday because I was working most of the day, but I've got a day off today, which is very nice. The weather's so random today, though. <laughs> I woke up <laughs> and looked at my weather app, and it was like sunny, sunny, sunny. And I woke up and expected to see like a sunny sky, but it's really, I don't know, it just looks like scary and murky outside. But it smells of like, you know, when people do um, burn offs, it smells like all smoky outside. So maybe it's just smoke. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird anyway. <laughs> I've just been putting all of my um, boohoo clothes <laughs> back in here. Well, not all of them. I'm going to keep the. Do you guys remember the like black? It was like a wrap top. I'll insert a picture now of it. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. But I'm going to send all of the other dresses and the top back to boohoo because I just. I don't think I'll wear any of them and I don't know it wasn't cheap it was like a hundred and like over a hundred and fifty dollars so I might as well get a bit of money back <laughs> see I've just packaged everything up and I'm going to head to the post office now the only thing is my printer is like nearly out of ink so it hasn't really printed very well so I'm kind of hoping that the post office can like reprint the thing for me and yeah, <laughs> there's always something, isn't there? <laughs> well, today has just been a lazy daisy day, <laughs> apart from going to the post office and... Oh, I also went to see my mum for half an hour. Apart from doing that, all I've done <laughs> is sat there all day on my laptop and I feel, I just feel lazy. All I've done, hang on, I'll tell you how many steps I've done today. I've done 2.5, well, 2,500 steps, which is nothing. So I put my workout clothes on, I put my favourite comfy uh, New Balance shoes on. And I'm gonna go get some fresh air. I haven't been to the gym today. I just, I feel like I don't have the energy for the gym. <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel like I can handle like a casual walk, but I just don't have enough energy to like really get my heart rate up and that's what's gonna happen at the gym. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a nice walk, get some fresh sea air in my lungs. Actually, I think I might make myself a takeaway coffee. <laughs> oh, or do I need a coffee? It's 4.30. Do you need a coffee, Michelle? No, I don't need a coffee. I'll take a bottle of water. That's what I'll do. Okay, I'm gonna go for a nice walk and get some more steps in for the day that way i won't feel like such a lazy person <laughs> i'm walking up the smallest hill around here and i'm out of breath i don't know why i've got no energy <laughs> i wish i had as much energy as this lady <laughs> There's a little bird and it keeps trying to swoop me. Look, it's coming for me. It's coming for me. 
<laughs> See, there it is again. It hates me. <laughs> I'm just parked at the train station waiting for Jay. I actually feel so much better after that walk. I think even though I didn't like get my heart rate up, I think the endorphins still kicked in. Is that even possible? Can endorphins kick in if you don't get your heart rate up? I don't know. I feel better anyway. Before I was feeling a bit blah, but I'm feeling a bit better now, which is good. And I got my steps up. <laughs> Nearly 5,000 steps now, so that's, that's still not good, is it? <clears throat> I might be walking around the kitchen island tonight a hundred times. There he is. <laughs> hey, be nice. He peeks on you. Yeah. Tonight for dinner, I'm making myself a bit of salmon. I remember to take um, some out of the freezer last night, so I've got a nice like little fillet of salmon defrosted and Jay is having a beef burger so I'm gonna pop this in the oven now and then probably just have a few veggies with it I think maybe some carrots This is our dinners for tonight so we've just got some carrots with sesame seeds and a bit of maple syrup and this is one of those instant rice pot things it's a oh, some kind of vegetable and and rice thing <laughs> and then Jay's got a beef burger and I've got a little well not little I've got a big piece of salmon You know how I sent my Boohoo order delivery back today? Well, I just got an email from them saying that they've processed my refund. <laughs> and then I got an email from PayPal saying that the refund is back in my account. Um, but yeah, I just find that so weird because I only just posted it back to them today. So there's no way they would have received the order. But yet they've already given me a refund. <laughs> I thought usually, well usually when I send clothes back, like they don't give the refund until they receive the clothes. But yeah, maybe, I don't know. I think someone might get in trouble for that because there's no way they would have got the clothes. The like return address was to Sydney, I think. So yeah, I mean, I'm happy I got my refund, but... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I just would have thought they would have wanted to to check that I sent everything back <laughs> first. What are you doing out here, Monty? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you looking at the pretty lights? Oh, you don't want to see me. Good 
morning everybody I'm not working again today which I'm so excited about <laughs> um, I've got to head out to the shops just to get something for dinner but I don't know which shopping centre to go to Ugh, the decisions I have to face <laughs> I might pop in to see my mum quickly and see if she needs to go to the shops or anything Around came not came out target of the little Christmas stuff. Why now what I want to get some snow? Oh, some snow, yeah. Some snow. Some snow, yeah. Here we are. Oh no, that's slow. Oh where's the snow? Here we are. We've got one left just for me. <laughs> I'm just trying this top on in Target. What do we think? I think the colour looks nice on me, doesn't it? Hmm. It says cake for ice all over, regular fruit cake, G GF fruit cake regular, normal one, $43. Or you can get one with a bit of ice on $70. Okay, I mean they look nice though. I did end up getting that top. I feel like it's nice and summery and it was only $20 so I got that. And then I got this massive like wooden board and I got this for Christmas because I want to do one of those like massive grazing boards um, and I thought this would be perfect for that. And then I got these little, um, they're like little cheese, cheese knives I think. <laughs> got this one and then I've got this one which is a little bit sharper so I think that's for like harder cheeses and then that's for like the really soft cheeses but yeah I think for Christmas having like a nice big grazing board would be really nice and I picked up a few crackers <laughs> I got the little wafer ones of course the jats everybody loves jats and then some of these caramelized onion ones which I think are really nice yeah, getting organized for Chrissy. <laughs> it was raining this morning, so I had to bring all of the cushions in. Um, but now it's like beautiful and sunny outside, so the weather's playing tricks on us, isn't it, Monty? Yeah. So we can bring all these back outside. Do you want to help me? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Everybody, how are you all? I'm at my mummy's house early this morning. I have to help my auntie with some stuff on her computer, so I thought I'd pop over here. I am. Um, I was shaving this little area where I get the laser done, and I cut myself. <laughs> it's so sore. That's the only trouble when you get laser, they say not to like tweeze or anything or wax, like you have to shave because if you pull out the root it ruins the whole like growth process or something so oh. I'm home, I finished helping my auntie 
with her um, computer stuff. Did I even tell you guys that? I think I did. I've got to go to work in like 10 minutes and I really don't want to go. It's such a beautiful day. But <laughs> the good thing is I did, I washed all like the bed sheets this morning. Um, and it's not even 12 o'clock and everything, all the bed sheets have dried, <laughs> which is really nice. So I just put, you know how you have like the bed, I don't know, I call it like a doona cover. <laughs> anyway, I washed the bed doona cover as well. I think that might have just finished. Yeah, it's just finished. So I washed that as well. So I'm going to hang this out. Oh. And um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be dry by the time I get home from work later. That's always a nice thing about like really hot weather. Everything <laughs> drives, dries so quickly. I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, I am going to get ready for work now. Um, I think I have like a six hour shift, so it's not, it's not too bad. I bought some eggnog for Christmas. Guess who went and opened it? My husband. <laughs> he opened the eggnog. Good morning everybody. It smells weird in this elevator. <laughs> um, I am just on my way to my friend's house. It's her birthday on Sunday and I'm not going to be able to see her on Sunday so I thought I'd pop over there this, this morning and um, give her her present that I got her. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm going to head over there now and give her her present. It's going to be 38 degrees today. I'll put that down like here in Fahrenheit for you guys over in um, like America and Canada. Yeah, that, that's pretty hot. <laughs> so I think I can officially say summer has arrived in Perth. <laughs> You guys are going to be so proud of me. I'm going for a second workout today. I mean, who am I? <laughs> I went to the gym this morning and now I'm going to go for a nice walk because it's such a beautiful day and I just I can't resist it. <laughs> yep, I don't even know who I am right now. such a beautiful day outside it's a little bit hot like it's not crazy hot I mean it's 38 degrees but it doesn't it doesn't feel like 38 degrees it's just beautiful but can we just talk about these headphones for one minute so these are from Audiofly and I've, I've had these for about just over a week now and they're the type of thing that once you've used them a few times you kind of think to yourself, how did I live without them before? Like they just, they just make your life so convenient. So basically what they are is they're Bluetooth wireless headphones. So that means you don't have to plug them into your phone. They just connect to your phone through Bluetooth. And trust me, it's a game changer when you're at the gym. <laughs> when I work out on the treadmill, I usually don't mind using like my old plug-in headphones because there's a little like stand on the treadmill that I can rest my phone on so it's not an issue but then when I go on the cross trainer 
there's no stand so I have nowhere to put my phone so this is kind of gross but I actually like tuck my phone down into my sports bra it just gets into like a sweaty mess and it's just not convenient especially when I'm doing free weights as well like there's this my my workout pants don't have a pocket so there's nowhere to put my phone so now that I have the Bluetooth headphones, I can put my phone on the bench, like walk away from the bench, get the weights, come back and, and I don't have to worry about like picking my phone up, making sure I've got my phone near me all the time. It's, it's making my life a lot more convenient at the gym, let's put it that way. Even when I just go for like a simple walk, I don't have to worry about like the cord attached to my phone. I don't have to worry about like if I accidentally move my phone too far away from my, from my body, that the headphones will rip out. Um, yeah, they're just they're just very convenient. Audio Fly did gift those headphones to me um, and asked me to do a little review on them. And they also very kindly gave me a discount code for you guys to use if you're in the market for some new headphones for the new year. Um, if you enter Michelle Twenty on the checkout page on the audio flyer website you'll get 20 percent off the headphones i'll leave a link down below to the website so definitely go check them out trust me they will change your life i've i've never had bluetooth headphones before i have heard of them before but i didn't think they would make that much of a difference but they honestly do they're a game changer <laughs> these are the earphones that i chose they're a beautiful white color most of you know white is my favorite color and then they have this beautiful rose gold coloring on the actual earbud and on the actual headphones themselves they have this little control panel so the little plus button uh, controls the volume so you can turn the volume up with the plus but you can also skip a song so if you just hold the plus button down you can skip to the next song and then obviously with the minus button you can turn the volume down and you can also go back to a previous track with that button and then the middle button you can press play or pause and i believe you can even answer a phone call with the mid middle button if a phone call comes through as well so the headphones come in a little box that looks like this and then inside the box you get the wireless earphones and then they also come with these little different sized earbuds a charger to charge the headphones up and then this really little cute like carry case that you can put the headphones into when you're not using them you guys know this is my favorite part of the week when all of the <laughs> i call it junk mail i don't know why i call it junk mail because it's not really junk mail is it oh, i don't really care about car stuff I don't really care about boating, camping and fishing. Mm. I haven't seen anything that like, tempts me. Usually I'm like, oh, I want this, I want this, but... My husband's getting very excited because he's only got one more week left of work and then he's got like i think he's got 16 days off or something like that which is crazy i'm very jealous the place that i work we've got well we're closed christmas day and boxing day so i'm definitely off those two days but i also <laughs> i also got christmas eve off and i got the day before christmas eve off so i've got like four days off in a row which will be really nice but yeah, Jay is getting <laughs> very excited. What are you doing? <laughs> I put it in there, jump a loop about eight times, it wouldn't start. <gasps> Literally so, the car that we're gonna go yes. to the wedding in. I'm so Googling car hose. Oh, we can't have a backup. <laughs> and then last minute I just pushed the button and it started. So. <laughs> I can't promise that we will always see eye to eye on everything, but I can promise that I will always be there to hold your hand and work through every hurdle we face together as a team. I can't think of anything more exciting than waking up every day of my life with you. I promise to laugh with you, to challenge you, to comfort you, to give you lots of snuggles. 
<laughs> to set goals together, to rub Vicks on your chest when you're feeling sick. <laughs> <laughs> there will be unknowns in this life, but for this, I'm sure. I promise to give you my heart wholly, unequivocally, and without hesitation. I promise you, me. I'm watching um, Pia and Kane's wedding and I'm like crying like a baby. I don't know why. I don't know, weddings are so emotional. <laughs> I'm so crying. Has anybody else watched it? I think they've just um, uploaded it like a couple of hours ago. Oh gosh. <laughs> You look in the fridge and realize you don't really have anything for dinner. <laughs> I've got <laughs> this. This is a chicken schnitzel, but there's only one in there, and that's um, Jay can have that for dinner. But I don't really, I mean, I've got a bit of hummus. <laughs> I've got eggs. I guess I could make like an omelet or something. Yeah, I think there's options. There might be options. I don't even think that's in date anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've just picked Jay up from the train station. He works in the city, so he's kind of lucky in that retrospect he can like go to the shops on his during his lunch break. What does in that retrospect? I don't know. Isn't that a terminology? In that retrospect. In that regard. I thought retrospect was a... Um, yeah, he got some Nespresso's for us so we can, well, so I can top up the Nespresso jar. And he treated himself to some t-shirts, which is kind of rare because he never buys himself anything. And then he got me my favourite candle. Every year I have this candle. If you're like an old subby, you all would know. Well, yeah, you would know. <laughs> What, what candle it is that I get every Christmas. <laughs> oh, I feel bad opening it now, but I want to use it before Christmas. So it is the white Christmas one. This smells so good. If you want, I think I say this every year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do say this every year, but if you're... Um, wanting to buy someone a nice candle. Okay, I can't get in it. Or even if you're wanting a candle for yourself, like this is the one to get. Oh, I can smell it coming out of the box. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, it smells so good. Okay, this is hard with one hand. Oh, it smells so good. Put it next to this candle because <laughs> this one's nearly all gone. This is the lime something something coconut lime. This one's really nice as well, but this one's my favorite ever, and it only comes out at Christmas. <laughs> You wouldn't believe it, like we've had a stunning weather day today and then and now it's like thundering and lightning outside. There's no rain but it's it's lightning. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. But then again in Brisbane and like Sydney they're having wild weather so maybe it's like come over and, and hit us. <laughs> Why? Because we're across the country. Okay, Jace just told me that was a silly thing to say, but I don't know my geography. <laughs> Not geography. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking now. <laughs> ah, that's why Mitzi's gone and hide. Yeah. 
she must have heard it a mile away. They must have good, good, um, good hearing. We were watching TV and Mitzi like ran into it. Well, not ran. Like she went and hid in the spare bedroom. But this was like 15 minutes ago before I even heard any of the thunder. So, like she hates thunder. So I'm just thinking cats must have like amazing. Why are you laughing at me? No, <laughs> yeah, but to be able the to hear. have amazing hearing. What to be hit to hear thunder before we hear it? Yes, of course. Well, I don't know these things. <laughs> Why do I think dogs are what? We use for things. What things? Hearing stuff. Dogs. Sure. No, they're used for sniffing. Well, they can hear sounds we can't. What have you ever heard of a dog whistle? Ah. I'll go and make sure Mitzi's okay. <laughs> Auntie doesn't care. <laughs> you, don't, you don't care, do you, boy? Mitzi, are you okay? Can you hear the thunder? Does it scare you? Are you okay, princess? It won't hurt you. It won't hurt. Oh, look at her little eyes, they're all dilated. Dilated. I sound like a real idiot tonight, don't I? <laughs> dilated. I'm not drunk, I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're watching A Wrinkle in Time um, with Oprah, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. I think I need to stop talking. <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, I am going to end the weekly vlog here for today. I'm just trying to think, is next week Christmas? No, it's the week after. I was going to say, okay, that's a bit crazy, but yeah, so next Saturday is the 22nd, so the week after. My goodness, where is December going? Okay, I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all again next week. <laughs> Bye.